Hello, all my Gemini friends. Welcome to your August 16th through 31st reading for 2019. I cannot believe this year is flying by so fast. Uh, we're already at the second half of August and uh, moving full steam ahead. This is a collective reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading with your private energy, please go to my website, royalmystic.com. As soon as you schedule your appointment, I'll be more than happy to assist you. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as well, and we welcome your energy as always. Your presence is a blessing. Thank you so much. There we have it, starting with the hanged man, getting a bigger picture of the, of the whole scene, seeing what all the moving pieces are. We have the judgment card. We have the Queen of Pentacles. That's a good one, being very stable financially. And the Two of Cups. Uh, this is a very good, like-minded, uh, soul union kind of energy. So, some of you may be having someone from the past come back around that has uh, in the uh, Earth energy here, which would be Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So, there's a judgment card here, blast from the past, so that's something being resurrected. It can also be a new job, or a job that had previously evaded you, or maybe that you, uh, someone from, someone you used to work with. It's any of those energies coming in. Now we have the, uh, Five of Cups. The Two of, uh, Two of, I'm seeing the Two of Cups, and I was looking over here while I was putting the card down. Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. The Seven of Swords, moving forward. Four of Swords, Gemini energy. Gemini energy all the way down here. Ace of Swords, the victory. Okay, our Underlier, nice. Nine of Cups, beautiful energy of getting your heart's desire granted. This is a celebration, being happy and content. This is the universe saying a big fat yes to some of the people who've been really focusing and praying on this financial abundance here. This is a beautiful energy. So, Gemini, let's see what my guides have to say. The Hanged Man, definitely elevating yourself either out of the low vibe or elevating your position, which could mean a uh, promotion. It can also mean uh, someone bringing you a different perspective where you have a different viewpoint and are allowed to see from an, a higher point of view, which gives you a bigger, broader vision of what your life may look like. The Judgment card, something coming back around for a second chance. This is a resurrection, something re-emerging. It doesn't have to be a relationship. This can be a job. Maybe a chance at a job that you had before that you wanted and didn't get. This is a second shot at it. The Queen of Pentacles, like I said earlier, could very well be an Earth energy, but this is also talking about the abundance and stability that you wanted or want, and this is your opportunity to get it, okay? So bringing that judgment card around into this is that chance for complete and total financial stability. She's got her money well in hand, and this pillar here is a solid gold pillar, so it is absolutely supporting, so it means supported financially. Two of Cups, being of like mind, being united in spirit, being in a very good place of, this can be a soul connection, this is something that, you know, the soulmate, uh, but it also means a very good working relationship either with spirit for, for your own self or with spiritual energy with another person, a partner or someone in your relationship or, or work life. Now, it also can be a spiritual awakening when that light goes big like that. So we have the Five of Cups, so we may have been uh, really going through some things, some changes, some, some hurts, some past 
stumbles, okay? Skinned our knees a little, but it's okay. We can get up and dust ourselves off. Um, it's not a mortal wound. You've got the Two of Cups here telling you your heart may be broken now, but you can restore it and move forward. And if this is about a job, this is maybe in the, in, you found out some bad news about the company you work for. I got that just now for somebody. Um, somebody just got a kick in the pants about the restructure or even uh, somebody being a merger that's going to el eliminate their department. Four of Pentacles. This is having the energy of being financially stable. Even though that happens, there should be a really good severance package coming in. And you have uh, kind of had wind of it. I don't think it's something out of the blue for you. You've got your soul family here, the Six of Cups, supporting you, helping you, and 100% in your corner, emotionally and physically. So don't, don't feel like you're going to be, uh, no one's going to be upset with you for what's going on. You'll be able to move forward. This is showing stability, so you're going to pick something up right away. That may be what this is talking about. Seven of Swords, walking away from the old job. Some of you may actually be giving notice. And even if uh, you might have, if you have the ability to get out before the, the actual end of the thing happens, uh, sometimes people choose to do that instead of waiting to see what the severance package is going to be because you never know if they're really going to give you one unless you've already been told that. Some of you are just moving forward and getting yourself into a new position here and uh, letting it go, letting the old go. This is the two weeks notice. There may be some a little time that you need to recover and rejuvenate because it was exhausting. Okay, Sometimes we're in that position, but you come out on top because this is the Ace of Swords. This is your Gemini energy, very strong champion energy, cutting, cutting through the veil and moving forward in a very specific direction. So those of you who are changing know exactly where you're going. I feel like y'all already knew this was coming. So thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, Divine, for these beautiful blessings and messages. We receive them in the love and light they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always and welcome your information. So, we had some jump. I'm going to turn it this way. And new job. Two of rods. Three of cups. Happy about it. An offer. So you're not, you are moving on and you are getting an offer. A lot of work has been put into it, so you're able to do this. So we've got the Hermit, the Queen of Cups, Strength, telling you you've, you've got it. You've got the Fortitude, beautiful King of Swords, very much large and in charge, all the chaos ensuing. Your spiritual card showing up, the Star card, beautiful energy. Now, oh, don't, yeah. Financial restoration is at hand. This is the universe giving you the abundance and even more to make up for the loss. So, we have this Nine of Cups, which is a very good energy of your heart's desire being granted. I feel like those of you who are going through this shift uh, are having it happen and you're kind of relieved because you really could feel it coming for a while and things have been disheveled and not really functioning s smoothly or fluidly. And you feel like you've just been plugging the dam anyway. Just putting in the cork here and there trying to keep the leaks at bay. And you just, you knew eventually something had to happen. Now this isn't for everybody. Remember, it's a, it's a general reading. So the second set of cards is going to help me cover the rest. Hanged man. Take, take a good look at where you are. Allow yourself to move forward. When, you're, when you have the right opportunity, seize the day is what this card is talking about. You have the world in your hand, and all you have to do is grab onto the rod, which is a new job or a new opportunity, and the sun will rise tomorrow. All will begin again anew and fresh, and you'll be able to have all the opportunities. So don't just look at the bigger picture. Sometimes... A blessing can be had even through a tragedy or a loss of a job. The judgment card, having the, having something come back around, something that you so there's an opportunity to be had from all of this. 
the ace or the three of cups sorry the three of cups is all about having your energy of celebration and community so people support you you think you're going to have friends that come in and give you uh, support and help as far as finding another job and helping you network Queen of Pentacles says you're just fine financially, so you're not in any fear in that regard. And and look, there's no fear cards out here. So I really feel like you guys already kind of smelled what the rock was cooking, okay? Knight, <laughs> Knight of Cups, I don't know if anybody's a Dwayne Johnson fan, but there you go. Knight of Cups, the offer being extended. So this is a, a, a real, true, heartfelt offer. The Two of Cups. Uh, being able to come into your uh, letting the universe guide you in a way that you feel 100% protected and in line. This nine of rods means all the work that you have gone through, all the obstacles you've overcome. Um, this is the last phase of it. So you get to complete this and move on to the, a new project, a new job, a new beginning. Just don't give up five minutes before the miracle because here it's it's on the way. Five of Cups is a little bit of uh, melancholy, feeling like, oh my gosh, do I got to start again? Oh, oh, I don't even know where to begin. And here is the Hermit saying, just go, for, go within. Stoke your own flame. Allow yourself to bring your light to full uh, illumination so that you can see what's, what it is that you want to do. Sometimes we've been in a job forever and it's not even a job we like. Think about what it would be like to have a job that made you happy to go to work. Let's envision that and draw that in, right? So financially, very stable, very secure. You've got the four of pentacles, which means money in the bank. Sad to see it, see the, see the change happen. This is a little bit of remorse again, the five of cups and the queen of cups. And the six of cups is soul family and that your strength will be derived from the people around you that help you get through this little time in life where things just seem to kind of crumple. It's okay. Every Life is not full of sunshine and roses, but we can do our very best to get through it without letting ourselves go into the deep, dark pit of despair. There's still hope. Let's not give up. Seven of Swords. Looking forward to bringing the knowledge you already have, going forward into a new position. You've got the King of Swords here, which is your Gemini King energy. You are suited and ready for battle, whatever you have to do. If you have an interview process coming, this is coming through it like a champion. Okay? If anybody is, is interviewing for a job right now, even if you, whatever's going on with some other people with their job, this is, this is a new, wonderful leadership position. And it's the Archangel Michael. You can't go wrong. <laughs> so we have the Four of Swords, which is telling you, get enough sleep. Don't let yourself overextend yourself. Don't, don't uh, burn the candle at both ends. Restore yourself because there's a lot of negative energy around you. And you're going to need to have your wits about you. The Ace of Swords is using your intellect to cut through all the BS and allow yourself to move forward with your best possible energy in the best possible direction. Very uh, good energy because it's a gift from the universe of clarity. And then we have the star card, which is your soul's desire being granted. So that's a perfect way to tie this little, up, this little thing up and put a bow on it. This is perfect energy as far as the star card is amazing. You would never know what your soul's purpose is right? So it's bigger than you think. Allow yourself to be moved forward. There's a reason why the changes are happening and there's a reason why you're being put in the situations you're being put in. You've got your heart's desire being granted and your soul's desire being granted and money is not going to be an issue. Many blessings to you, Gemini. Thank you for being here and watching this beautiful reading. I couldn't have done any of this without all of you. I thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, your support is just amazing. I love you all. Thank you for everything, all of the positive energy. Don't forget we have weeklies, we have dailies, and we have uh, tarot, talk, tarot talk that is a, a little bit of a breakdown of what goes on with tarot and some information that you might find useful in how to understand tarot and what's going on with the cards. 
So those are all available to you. If you don't see a le link to join the dailies, just send me a message in the lower in the comments and or in an email and I'll send you the link. Many blessings to you. Thank you again. I'll see you again in September. Namaste.